Hello and welcome, this is Daisy. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to create SVG designs or SVG cutting files. I will show you how to search and download the images in Google, how to convert them to SVG format or in layers by colors, how to make SVG designs for t-shirts, and how to save them in SVG format. And for this process, we will be using the free graphic design program, Inkscape. These SVG files can be opened in Krika Design Space, Silhouette Designer, Inkscape, Corel Draw, and more. Before we start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. And let's start. We're going to work on this design and don't worry it's not difficult if you don't have Inkscape yet I recommend you to go to Inkscape.org and install it first we're going to insert individual pictures so we can create this design let's go to file click on new go to file again document properties and here we're going to select the size of the page we wish to work. I'm going to select letter size and landscape. First, we're going to go to Google and download the images we're going to work with. I'm going to type TikTok logo PNG. Click on the images and select one that has good quality. Let's check on this one. I think it's perfect. Right click, save image, name it, and save. Now I'm going to look for the piece sign. I'm going to select that one and save it. Right click, right click, save image, name it, and save. And I'm also going to insert a heart. I'm going to download this one. Right click, save, name and save. Now I'm going to go back to Inkscape. Go to file, import, Look for the folder where you save the pictures. Click on it and insert. Click OK. I'm going to minimize it because it's kind of big. And I'm going to do the same with the rest. So these ones are the pictures that we are going to use to create the design. But first, I'm going to convert them into SVG format. I'm going to start with this one. Select, go to path, trace bitmap, and we're going to see this window. The images that don't have color are easier to convert. So we're going to select on single scan, update and apply. Grab the top layer and erase the bottom layer. We're not going to use that one. As you can see, the background is transparent. Now we're going to select the heart, single scan, update and apply. Grab the top layer erase the bottom layer and place it over there now on these two that have color the process is a little different let's click on the tiktok logo now we're going to click on multiple scans here we're going to select color we're going to remove the background 
and here we're going to type the scans that we need. This one has three colors, but I always like to add one more scan. So we're going to type four scans. Update. Remember, you have to click on it. Update and apply. Now, select the top layers, put them aside, and click on the bottom layer and delete. Here, if you double click, you can move the layers. We have three layers here. I'm going to select all the layers, right click and group. Now we're going to do the same with this one. Multiple scans, four layers, update and apply. Grab the top layers and erase the bottom layer. So all of this is already on SVG format. Now we're going to create the design. Now on this one, I'm going to add offset. We're going to go to path, click on linked offset. And you're going to see this little diamond over there. We're going to come to the lower right corner and maximize as much as we can. And look for the little diamond, grab it and stretch it to the outside. Change color and minimize it. Now this one already has um, an offset. What I'm going to do is click on this arrow, click on the offset, click on this square over here, click on the droplet, and click on this color over here. So you have the same colors as the TikTok logo. Okay, now, we're going to fill in these spaces with some color. Click on the paint bucket and fill in. Now click on this arrow, click on, click on the gray area, click on the droplet and copy the orange or red color. And we're going to do the same with the rest. There it is. And all of this is layers. Select, right click, and group. Now the first picture is already there in layers and in color. Now we're going to do the same with the heart. But first, we're going to double click and you see all those little diamonds over here or those little squares. We're going to grab the last one over here and we're going to close the heart like that. And click on the top arrow and ready. Now let's get the paint bucket and fill in the heart. Now click on the arrow again click on the droplet and click on this color and ready. The top is ready. Now we're going to add text. Let's click on this A, click on the Canva and the font that we're going to be using is called Futura Maxi. I'm going to leave the link in the video description in case you wish to use it. This one is very similar to the TikTok logo. I'm going to select the bottom row, click on these bars over here, and align at the bottom. And there. 
Now we have to convert the text into SVG format. Let's go to path, object to path. Now let's go to object on group. And if you wish to leave the letters separate, you can leave them like that. But I like to have one layer. Go up to path again and click on union. Over here, you can add some hearts, but um, I'm going to add TikTok logo. So I'm going to duplicate this one, make it smaller, and place it over here and duplicate it and place the other one on the other side. Select all of it and align at the bottom. Right click and group. And here we have the SVG designed in layers and in colors. So select all of it, right click and group. Now, Let's go to File, Save As, name it. And over here is very important that we click Plain SVG and save. Now the file can be opened from Krika Design Space, Silhouette Studio, Coral Draw, Inkscape, and more. I'm going to open it in Krika Design Space to show you. Upload, upload image, browse, click on the file, open it. As you can see, we didn't have any problem. Select, upload, click and insert. And here is the SVG design in layers. Now I'm going to show you an example of how it will look on a t-shirt. I have this one and this one. This one can be done in layers with iron on or also with sublimation. For sublimation, you can save it in PNG format. I'll go back to the design and I will show you how to do that process. Go to File, Export PNG Image. Click on this folder over here name the file and save it. You already learned how to make your own SVG designs or cutting files. You learned how to download the images from Google, how to convert them in SVG format, how to add offset, how to create a t-shirt design, and how to save it into SVG and PNG format. If for some reason your design doesn't come out the way you wish, I invite you to visit me on my website so you can download these designs for free. My website, daisymultifacetica.com. I'm going to leave the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.